Okay, so the next thing that we're going to be talking about is converting scenes. So converting scenes actually takes advantage of what is happening inside the convert objects. So the convert objects is kind of a universal way to convert both scene objects and prefabs. Um, so we're going to take advantage of that in our convert scenes. So um, convert scenes uh, by default, the way it comes uh, pre-configured here is it's going to look for uh, active scenes, uh, so enabled scenes that are in your build settings. Uh, but we can go as far as just getting any scene in our entire project and converting that if we want. Uh, so the very first thing that we need to do is we need to say search scenes. And like I said, it's only going to you know select the scenes that if I pull up my build settings here, I only have these two scenes enabled. Um, so it's only pulling those scenes. And if I select it, it'll actually highlight where it found it. And of course, I can you know, remove it or even purge uh, all of the selections. But scanning for scenes uh, takes about a second. It's very, very fast, as you just saw. Even if I say show all the disabled scenes, it's going to show everything in my build settings. Or even go as far as say, just find every single scene in my project, which is that tick, bar, tick box. I say search, and here's every single scene in my entire project that it found. And so what it's going to do here is if I click load and convert selected scenes, and I'm not going to do that. I'm going to purge that and go back to my original settings here. Uh, these scenes are already converted to multiplayer, but if I wanted to, let me go back and just search for everything again uh, and do just an invector example scene. So let's say I just want to do the basic locomotion or something. I could do that and it will load and just convert that one scene. But you can see how easy this would be. Um, I could actually just, instead of having to manually load that scene and manually go into go into convert objects and then manually one at a time come in here and convert it, I can go to convert scenes, find every single thing and just say load and convert and it will actually iterate through every single object in all scenes. Um, and it's gonna load each scene one at a time iterate all the objects, and if it finds any component on that object, it will convert that component to the multiplayer version for you, um, and it will save that scene automatically for you. And it's just gonna do that one at a time. So uh, this process can uh, take, uh, it can take more time than, than uh, the whole convert object scanning. Um, so it could probably take you a couple minutes to be able to go and run through and convert everything. But this essentially can convert your entire project for you in uh, mere seconds. Um, and I wonder if I can do something here. Uh, no, I don't actually have any scene, except I don't wanna convert an in invector scene. I wanna keep that fresh for uh, some future purposes, but you can see how, how helpful this can be for you and quickly getting your project up and running. And like I always suggest, be sure to back up your project in case there is some sort of error or issue or this, this inadvertently breaks a component that you are working on. Be sure to back up your project before you do any of these things.